Hi everyone, Tegan Neville here, author of the beautiful self-discovery inspirational cards and here for another session of Connecting with Ian to Heal and Grow. Oh. Um, I will apologize to start with as well that um, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment so hopefully we won't have any interruptions but I might need to keep it a little bit shorter than usual so um, yeah hopefully you can hear me um, and yeah let's get into it so I uh, <laughs> sorry I'm a little bit scattered as well due to the cold and my head not working um, so well I would like to share with you a current promotion that I have on uh, for my intuitive guidance sessions that I've got a huge 44% off, 44 because that's a number that I always feel like the angels are supporting me and looking out for me. So yeah, massive 44% off on my intuitive guidance sessions at the moment. So uh, unfortunately, because my computer's not working properly, I'll have to post um, a link to it later. But um, these sessions are something I just love doing and I've had such beautiful beautiful feedback for them uh, and it's yeah using the intuitive drawing and cards and crystals to uh, give you some guidance in whatever area or areas you are looking for some direction or feeling lost or looking about what um, can you do to do some inner work or yeah like what kind of areas might see you so anything really um, and yeah just beautiful healing positive guidance that comes out of them so um, again if you can just let me know whether you can hear me or not that would be great unless my other things also not working so um, yeah if someone could just say hello or we can hear you um, that would be wonderful so um, yeah those sessions so I'll post a link if um, anyone is interested in booking a session so the um, special that is on at the moment finishes on the 30th of uh, June so as long as you um, order your session before then and they're done via video recording so I um, do them and then send you the video recording so you don't need to make an actual appointment and you can watch and re-watch them and yeah it's the, they're just beautiful so <clears throat> excuse me moving on um, again if anyone can please clarify if this feed is going okay that would be great um i think that it is so let's move on to our session for today and the card that we are going to look at which is darkness within so shine a light on your darkness within so this is a really interesting card. Hi Kat, good morning. So yeah, I'm presuming that you could hear me then. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us. So yeah, Darkness Within is um, an interesting card in this deck because some people when they choose this I use my cards often like in groups and things as well and it can be kind of one you know other ones are quite very um, obvious in their inspiring and um, things but this one is one that some people can look at and get quite feel very uncomfortable immediately so it's very interesting um, a reaction to to this card and how you're reacting to it um, and it can change because sometimes so for example today when I look at this card I'm immediately drawn to the light and um, what we're going to talk about today is one way that I haven't actually worked with this card before um, and it's not quite as obvious I, in my blog post I'll talk about um, the one that I have kind of you know about shining a light on the darkness and um, fears and things but today we're going to work with it a little bit differently and as I said today I'm really drawn to the light in the card and the 
um, discussion that yeah I would like to share with you or this message is around um, looking at what we've um, pushed down hidden within ourselves because of and so this might be a gift a talent something you want to do um, that type of thing like because of however the situation around you or people or the way you've grown up has kind of viewed it as being a not good thing or being something wrong and so it is for this reason that you've actually hidden it away in the dark and so today is about shining a light back on it and going okay so have I chosen not to do this because I feel that it's wrong or does this actually feel really, really right for me? And the feeling really right is about when you are connected within, connected to that true inner voice, letting go of fear and going just really sitting with it and feeling does this fill me with a sense of warmth or happiness if I let go of the fear part because often the fear part can kind of overshadow overshadow that so um, it's really about yeah sitting with that um, without the fear and just going okay so is this something that yeah I really feel that it is right for me versus um, okay no it doesn't actually feel um, okay and that that that's okay too um, but these are things for example perhaps through childhood or with experiences around people that you have um, it hasn't come from you that you've put it away into the dark it's come because of um, other people telling you that it's wrong so uh yeah so before i go into that more, more i'm going to read the message in the guidebook and we're going to think about this um as we hear these words in that context because as i said um i haven't worked with the card in this manner before it's been more about um the kind of things that i've felt uncomfortable about myself um, and kind of yeah other fears and things but today specifically we're looking at um, is there something within you that you have felt the need to hide away okay and um, so yeah let's shine a light back on that and see whether it's time to bring it back out into the light and to see whether the situation around you is allowing you to do so and if not yeah really just addressing where where that um need to hide it away is coming from so darkness within shine a light on your darkness within Take steps to accepting all that is within you, all that you have done, all that you are. Allow for acceptance and forgiveness where needed. No longer hold onto shame, guilt, fear, or lower thoughts about yourself. Let go and accept. Do not fear what lies in the darkness. Bring it into the light. So that is just sorry where I'm, <laughs> where I'm personally at at the moment and I've been working on something and probably that's why this has come up um, but I'm a big believer in yeah when things are coming up for me and the need to share it that it is because there's other people that can benefit from that as well or in uh, perhaps in that same space and um, I'm just feeling really uh giddy and excited actually <laughs> reading that which is very different to the feelings this card usually comes up for me so <laughs> i guess um to perhaps put it in a perspective or give you an example so my um intuitive side is one that i have felt the need to um pack away in the past because of things that have happened and people around me feeling uncomfortable with it so um hi betty oh you're morning my night <laughs> 
Well, um, I was going to say good night or happy night to you, Benny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is an example. This is a part of myself that, um, and while I still did a bit of it because I've um, managed along the way to create these cards, which are using my intuitive artworks, there are other aspects of myself, for example, the intuitive guidance and really um, connecting further that I felt um I just wasn't in a place to fully stand in my own space and I was very influenced by um, the situation around me. So that is something that I kind of felt was um, wrong or I was starting to take on the views of others um, instead of, yeah, whereas recently kind of looking at it again and going, you know what, this um, feels really good for me. So how can I do this in a safe way for everyone around me? And to, um, yeah, look at that. So it may also be a case. So, but that first step, which is what today, so I won't go too much into it, but the first step for today is about, is there something within you, a gift that you have or something you want to pursue or um, something that's happened, you know, in the past that does actually feel like something you want to be a part of you and really looking at it and um, thinking about, so we're not going to do a mindfulness today. This is just something for you to consider that um, if, yeah, if there is something here to actually kind of shine a light on it, let's have a look at it and go, okay, so that's where I was then and I understand why I had to hide it away. So where I'm at now is, and if I think about the reason for putting it in the darkness, so perhaps it was fear or um, safety or wh whatever reason it is. Um, so trying to let go of the fear, look beyond the fear and just sitting with, is it okay? Because there might be elements here that you can um, start to explore again. So I... Yeah, if there's any questions, um, I'm really happy to um, today to pull a card for someone around this. Um, if you would like that, please um, say so in the messages. Um, but that is, yeah, kind of this, this message today. So I'll give that a moment in case anyone would like, um, yeah, a card in, in that area. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, while I'm waiting to check in, uh, and uh, to clarify, yeah, so when I say pull a card, I'll grab um, a card from um, my deck and just see, or I might even do a little drawing or something and see whether um, we can shine a bit more of a light on this aspect that you could look into. So please do. Uh, message if like in the comments box um, if that is something that you would like so and I'm just going to keep this card separate though for for it so Betty would like one so let's have a look Betty and um, I might actually do a drawing I just because I didn't prepare for that I'm just wondering what paper I've got around Bear with me. Right, let's grab, grab something here. So my chair. Okay. So Betty, let's have a look. So for Betty. Okay. Oh no! After all that, it does want a. <laughs> let's have a look this will lead me in a direction so gifts allow your gifts to guide you in finding your true path so Betty it feels like there's something here that you're already doing but you could actually um, enrich it or make it bigger because there's one section here that um, because I think of opinions of others have mentioned to you to um, 
not uh, that it either wasn't relevant. I think it feels like maybe that that wasn't relevant, but actually it will really enrich the process. So um, I don't know if that makes sense to you, um, but yeah, the hopefully like in the context of what we've been talking about, that so something you've already been doing, um, but this, yeah, about the not, um, I, I've said it, so hopefully that I'm just aware these are just very brief um, kind of things. So, uh, yeah, it, please let me know if that resonates with you. Um, okay, and Kat, yes, please. I'm really feeling the darkness kind of relevant. Okay, so for you, Kat, let's just check in. So this is the... Um, intuitive drawing that I do which I'll show you uh, I don't know if I can kind of hold it up and do it let's see no that's not gonna work okay <laughs> again I wasn't prepared to do this today so I apologize for my a bit of scatteredness all right so um immediately there's feeling like a um something connected to children that um either when you okay we'll keep going so there's like a feeling I once was lost but what I found to get me through is something that I need to grow okay so that's kind of what came up so do those words resonate with you Kat again this is just really um, short things to help you perhaps connect to the theme of our card um, today so um, hi so we've got some more people so Renee so for any of those that are joining us um, a little bit later we've been looking at our darkness within card and together with um, the idea that there's something that we've hidden uh, that is actually um, not because yeah it's kind of around fear and around our situation or other people have made us feel like we need to hide it away so today it's about shining that light back on looking at it again to see whether it is actually um, something that will fill us um, give us our soul fuel and um, whether it is yes yeah, safe and right for us to actually um, bring that back into the light so if you would like um, yeah me to do a cut or a little uh, drawing depending on what comes through just to help you maybe pinpoint a little bit more of what you can work on so instead of a mindfulness today that seems to be what we're doing okay so Renee uh, you love the cards thank you so if you do want um, me to pull um, yeah to give you a bit more please be specific that um, you would like me to do so because I'm not sure yeah otherwise I don't feel comfortable doing it without your permission so you love the cards thank you so much Renee I also love my very special cards <laughs> that um, yeah I created along my own healing journey so these are um, very dear to my heart and I'm so excited to be able to be sharing them and that people have been connecting with them and um, they've been helping people so yeah it's very very special and um, yeah some of what I'm doing is um, also with them and with this kind of bit of um, script and stuff that comes out is what happens in the intuitive guidance sessions that I do so for those that weren't here at the start I do have a um, big special on until the end of this month with those sessions so um, <laughs> Uh, they yeah 44% off and I'll have to because my connections not working properly I'll have to post the link if you're interested in them later and I do combine a lot of um, yeah these different methods to communicate your guidance for you okay so yeah gotta do yeah the sales sales pitchy stuff don't we ah, 
but they're just so special. I really, yeah, the feedback I get from them is so beautiful. I'm just very, very excited. Okay, so let me see where was I up to. Okay, so Renee, now I'm just going to put, Kat mentioned she would like me to post the picture, so I'm just going to put names under them so that I remember later. Okay. So, uh, no, so Tanya, okay. So Tanya has asked um, for, uh, okay, so let's have a look, Tanya. So this immediately feels like it's very connected to um, around your heart and solar plexus, that there's something here and around power. So um, Tanya, you're, yeah, you having power so I don't feel like I need to even draw anything here this is very much about um, you looking at that idea that you it is okay for you to stand in your own power okay so yeah I hope that resonates with you Tanya uh, okay Diana so you would like a card or whatever it is to connect for you. Let's have a look. So again, a reminder that this is very much connected to the darkness within um, yeah, aspect. So this is what we're getting more information on. So for Diana. Okay. So there is um, you have opposites. So within the fighting forces, when you are able to find balance, you find strength. So this um, for you is a, excuse me, I've also got a cold at the moment. I apologize. It's not very nice. Um, so Diana, the, the idea of balancing and the need to balance um, something is very much out of balance for you. So whether it is, um, so just an example, I don't know if this is exactly right, but um, an example is mother, like motherhood that um, because of expectations, because again, today we're talking about, yeah, it's not because of just us. These are things that um, because of our situation or people we've hidden. So this is something that because of whatever situation you are in. So for example, like motherhood, that it's um, some views are that you need and should do like everything just for that, for them. Um, for kids, for family, house, yeah, this is in an example, okay, and not do anything for yourself. So there is something here like a very big disconnect and your scales are very out of balance. So, um, yeah, I won't go into it too much more because of um, this setup, but, yeah, certainly if um, hopefully that resonated or if you'd like more information, you can... Um, yeah, book a session as well um, because that yeah it, about your the balance please um, yeah so bringing more and more in with yourself so I feel very rushed when I do <laughs> when I do these these ones so um, yeah hopefully that um, resonates okay so Julie you would like one so for Julie okay let's have a look there's something um, past like um, child so bringing back around primary school so there's something here from primary school that has been um, felt the need to be hidden away and this is a prompt for you to check in to see whether those values are still um, relevant in your current situation, okay? So forever put down, 
but no more seeking sense of self and self-love that my view of myself is what is important okay and so that was for Julie so I'll just show you if you can see this that's kind of yeah as I was talking what was coming about for you and um yeah I might take a photo of the page or something for anyone that would like to refer to it so hopefully that resonated with you Julie okay um so thank you Kat I'll reply to you um after the session and Suzanne so you haven't seen these before so if you are talking about my beautiful self-discovery inspirational cards <laughs> please let me show them off to you they are just really really beautiful and special um, intuitive artworks and messages created along my own healing journey and they come in a beautiful display box so it's magnetic like and you um, slide in a card that you can display and then it like yeah you know doesn't um, also magnet shut as well so you can get them from white light publishing and um, yeah I'm just so excited to share them and so I was also mentioning I use them in my intuitive guidance sessions as well together with other intuitive um, work and things so um, please uh, do check them out I'll I can't put the link just now because my connection for whatever reason hasn't worked properly so I've had to use my phone to um, yeah see okay so <laughs> let's go so you would love a card as well Susan so Susan instead of a card it feels like we're going to um, draw for you and again I'm not sure because I know people have kind of come and gone so just a reminder that any um, guidance like the extra guidance I give this is all relevant to the darkness within um, card so around something that you've hidden because at the time you were taught or told or um, because of the situation it felt like something was wrong or there was fear around actually doing it and so it's been push, pushed inside so this today is about shining a light on that darkness and bringing it back up and checking within again whether it actually is something that's right for you because it might be a big part of you or it might be something that really enriches your life okay so Suzanne so immediately I think of sunshine and the image of the sun which is actually coming out here and this is okay so there's actually a lot of um, fear here and I'm getting feeling really really sick in my lower solar plexus and kind of sacral or slightly upper so in between those two spots and just let me breathe for a sec okay so um this is about yeah that sunshine it was a really feeling like whether you've been told or something around it that you don't deserve so there's a sense of um, unworthiness here so this is like a reminder that you Suzanne are absolutely worthy of sunshine and warmth so that is what I am going to share with you and please look in terms of so whatever this is in particular there's that sense of self-worth is coming in here okay so um, I'll just uh let me check okay so i think we've got two more so we'll do those and then finish up uh so jennifer you're a first time watcher 
Okay, so hopefully, I think you're watching when I um, just re um, reminded about the darkness within that that is what um, this is about. But also, yeah, I very much believe that um, people that kind of come across this, it's um, because, um, yeah, the there's something here that, that can help you. Um, okay, so I'll come back to that. So, Jennifer. And so usually, yeah, if you don't often catch me, I do this session fortnightly. Um, I don't often in this session actually draw a card. We quite often do a mindfulness, but I kind of just go where, where the session um, will take me. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's about connecting within. So healing and growing from connecting within. So rediscovering yourself, reconnecting with yourself. And the reason I'm saying all this feels quite relevant to you, Jennifer. Okay, so dreams, harness the energy of your dreams. So if you notice the white, the light circle here. So for you, I feel like there's a connection. If you can actually imagine a connection, a line between these two lights that um, for you, Jennifer, there is something that you have felt the need to squash down that is actually really connected to your aspirations. And so um, in that way, yeah, please um, consider this and um, yeah, work with that in that way. So hopefully that, again, yeah, I feel like I always want to go way more into it, but because of this setup, I, yeah, can't. So if you would like to book a session with me, um, yeah, please do so. Otherwise, just really sit, sit with the information that um, is given. Okay, so um, I'll just... Yeah, so I'll touch in again with you, Suzanne, after this, I think. Yeah, you've said unexpected. It was very unexpected, but there's something here that's being held on to. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Val, uh, you have asked for a card. Let's have a look. So, Val... Okay, so I feel like for you, the idea of looking at darkness or um, going into fear is something, there's something around that, whether it's, okay, so look at, so harness the energy of your dreams. Okay, so, okay, in this way, um, these ones feel connected in that perhaps you um, have in the past pursued a dream or something and it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to and so that then has meant that you've um whether yeah like kind of hidden away or squished it or so it's that sense of failure or um not wanting to fail that is holding you back here so that's yeah that's the message for you um that so in terms of the darkness within the shining a light on it that please yeah go back into it and look at the reasons for why and kind of look at it them from a different perspective so because if you're only pers not pursuing something because you're afraid to fail that then that is where you can do the work okay so I hope that resonates with you Val okay so thank you um, so much, everyone. Um, okay, now I've lost my video on my phone as well. So hopefully that <laughs> technology, I love it, um, has helped you all today and given you a point of reference to work from. As I mentioned earlier, I also do a blog post on uh, the following Monday from these sessions that I go into another way to work with the card or an extended way. So in this case, it will be a little bit differently working with the card. Um, it's been really fun working with this card in this way. I did mention I haven't done um, done. Yeah, when I created this and worked with it, it was really about looking at my fears. Um, so, 
and any shame or guilt that I was holding. So it's been really fun to look at it in this point of view that um, something inside of us has um, been put there and been felt the need to be locked up because of our circumstances and now is the time to readdress it and see whether it can come come into the light and to not worry um, about bringing it into the light and to be gentle with yourself as you do so. So thank you so very much everyone that um, joined in and yes I'll try and post the link if anyone's interested in, um, in a guidance session, a video recorded guidance session uh, that's 44% off or if you are interested in um, my cards I'll also post a link to that as well. So thank you so very very much and I wish you all well on shining a light on your inner darkness or the darkness within. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye.